on today's video, we're gonna be designing a brand new plant space. Did you hear how slow I said that? You know what, I'm wearing the wrong dang shirt. I can't use any of them anyways. I have to wear a black shirt, that's my, that's my thing. On today's video, we're gonna be designing a brand new plant space. Before we get into any of that, before I, before I show you the cool furniture I got back there, before I show you the even cooler plants I got right over there, let me give you a little bit of context on what's been going on in my life and why we're designing this new plant space in the, uh, in the first place. But like many planty stories start, for me, the beginning was just a few potted plants on my porch. I, uh, I got more plants. I filled the porch up. I filled the porch up almost completely with plants, almost to the point where there was no space left on the porch. And what did I do at that point? At that point, I brought the plants into the house. I started filling up my office. In fact, we're gonna go get a quick office shot for this one. But before long, the office started filling up as well. I filled up my porch. I started filling up my house. I'm still filling up my house with plants. And a yearning began to, to expand, to expand beyond my porch, to expand beyond my own walls. It was that motivation that got me out into my small town, talking to local business owners, and, uh, and doing my best to convince them to, to let me put some plant displays in their store. So the plant space that we're gonna be designing back here is actually for a store called Tangles. It's a, it's a knitting store. Knitting is as popular as it's been over the years. I think it's just so, it's so niche and eclectic now and it's, it's just, it's such a cool little store full of yarn and all sorts of things. Let me give you a closer look at these pieces because they're pretty cool. This is actually, a nesting bench made out of pallet wood. These pallet wood nesting benches, they were made by a woman named Sandy on Etsy. And, uh, and Sandy, you did, a, you did a darn good job. Right behind me. I don't even remember where I got these. Probably Etsy as well. I do a lot of, of Etsy stuff. But we've got some nesting crates. And what we're actually gonna use these things for is layering, just to achieve different layers. So we can set some plants up a little bit higher, so we can set some down a little bit lower, create a little bit more interest on these benches, so it's not just you know plants sitting on one, one flat surface. It's all, about, it's all about bringing sort of an organic variation, but in, in a structured and put together, you know, cleanly, uh, is, cleanly the, is cleanly the right word? I'm not sure. In a, in a, just in an organized way, let's stick with that. Now, of course, this isn't my entire plant collection, but these are what I've sort of pulled aside and set up for us to look at and decide from. And these are basically just the plants that we're gonna be choosing from to build our, to build our little plant display over there. Now, this one right here, my, my brand new Rex begonia vine, I'm, I'm just not sure about it yet. I, I just got this plant a few days ago. I don't know, it's kind of a red vining plant and I think it would go perfect on this display but I'm, I'm finding it awfully hard in my heart to, to let this one go because I've, I've only had it for a few days. I barely got to watch you grow yet, buddy. So right off the bat, <laughs> so right off the bat, let me, just, let me just warn you that this video is gonna be a lot of, you know, me popping up in front of the camera like that, you know, going through the thoughts in my head, all of my hmms and hmms and what, what should we do with this one and where should we put that one? But that's, that's the point. I wanna give you the, the little swirls of rainbows that are floating around in my head up here and, uh, and try to put those thoughts into words as best as I can. Let me get some of those crates organized so I can start to see some of the layers and the dimensions of what we're gonna to have to work with. I actually didn't mean to kind of slide this bench out like this at an angle, but uh, I don't know, that might be just like a happy little natural mistake, we'll see. So now I've got little spaces like right here, right on top of here, all throughout here, and it'll just help create a lot of interest rather than having you know, a cluster of, of plants sitting on, a, on an old barnwood bench back here. When you're designing a new space or a terrarium or, or just really kind of arranging anything, you wanna, you wanna do two things. You wanna inspect the details, of course, because any artist inspect the details. That's what we love. But you also want to take a step back every once in a while and look at everything as a whole. Look at the literal shape that the display is making for you. You know, is it a, is it a big rectangle? You know, do the plants kind of create a little box like that? Or does it go up in more of a, of a mountain shape where the, where the middle part has, you know, plants that are, that are a little bit taller? Or does it sort of have, you know, all of the larger stuff on the side and then sort of dip down into a valley like that? And those are the sorts of things that we're thinking about right now as we're putting this new uh, plant display together. But we've got to get started somewhere. We've got to pick one of these plants to put on our bench over here. 
not even to not even for anything permanent just to sort of get the uh get the plant picking a rolling and i mean as much as i hate to say this just this this rex begonia right here my my newest plant in my collection the one that i that i haven't even got a chance to to watch sprout one more leaf is uh is is calling to me let's let's put this one on there again i'm not 100 percent if this is gonna <laughs> I'm not 100% if I can let this go yet, but we're gonna pop it. We're gonna pop it right there and we'll just, we'll, we'll see what happens, I will admit. It looks pretty good sitting up there on that crate. <laughs> Side fact, during the making of that shot just a few moments ago, my fingers when I was holding that pot were actually straining almost to the max. I was doing, I was doing everything I could to talk to you, but also try not to, to drop my Rex begonia back there. But let's not get sidetracked on little side facts. Let me go grab some more plants. Let's just start, let's just start getting things on the bench. Let's just start putting some stuff out there, making some decisions. Because once you start making the decisions, you start moving down the paths, and that's when everything starts speaking to you. This one's actually called Mother-in-Law's Tongue. I think I could get the plant names wrong, guys. I don't, I, I don't know, I try, but uh, Let's try this one on our little rocking chair and you know, we'll see, we'll see how that works. So I love the contrast of the, uh, of the green and the red on that chair back there, but I, I'm not loving the contrast of the actual, the actual pot and the, uh, and the red chair. So we'll leave it there for now, but I don't, I don't think that one's going to stick. And this one right here is my kangaroo paw fern. This plant does like a lot of humidity and it requires me to, I have to clean it a lot. It's even a little bit, I cleaned it yesterday and it's still a little bit dirty there. But it's been doing real well for me and I think I'm gonna use this one as sort of a guinea pig. I wanna, I wanna try a, a plant that requires a little bit higher humidity in, uh, in the space here. Because again, a lot of this stuff is, is the fun part for me, the fun part for me in fact, is, uh, is experimenting with things. You know, how do the plants grow in these stores? Moving things around and finding the optimal light conditions for the plants. Um, just general care and things like that. So this one's gonna be a bit of an experiment. Let's find a place on the bench for it. Oops, let's not squish this little leaf. So it lines up nicely with this, uh, with this little crate here. And then what we'll be able to do from here is we'll be able to put another plant back here that stands up a little bit taller and, uh, and it just sort of creates this, this little, I don't know, I kind of think of it as a, like a jungly little cluster. You always want to build things in little clusters, or at least that's the, that's the way that I design things. I've actually had these two plants in, uh, in mind since I, since I got the A-OK -okay to do the Tangle store. And I don't know where those are going to go yet. So let's just pop them on here somewhere. Let's just start adding green to this bench. Let's start actually getting an idea of how full we're gonna want this thing. Um, I, want it, I want it to be quite full, you know? I, I, I want it to look like a plant display, of course, you know, like a little, like a little miniature tropical paradise, you know, waiting on, the, waiting on the farm wood bench up by the window there. Let's get something to put in our little crate back there. Maybe we could do a splash of white. I thought this pin cushion peperomia was uh, was just kind of you know suiting and fitting for a for a knitting store. Do they use pin cushions in knitting? I don't know, but kind of like gardening and house plants and stuff. It's all in the same world, isn't it? The thing that I like about it is that I like that little splash of white. But if I have a little splash of white on this side of the display, it'll be nice to have a little splash of white in that pot right there. Although the plant is is beautiful. Specifically, this pot was just one of the one of the coolest finds that I ever did. I'm I'm always scouring all over the place: Facebook Marketplace, thrift stores, flea markets, wherever I can find you know just like cool pots. I'm always looking for them, and that's that's actually where I've got all these things. I I, I kind of see that as as my thing. I match plants with with pots that I find out there in the world. So not only are we recycling things, but we're we're beautifying spaces, and it's it's just a win-win for everybody. I kind of have a feeling this isn't going to work because of the wood textures. And I'm pretty sure I'm right now that I'm looking at it. I just don't like the wood on the wood. 
we want to sort of spread out the, the textures. Now here's an idea. What if we take our two white pots, we put them on that red rocking chair. Obviously I'm not sure about the placement of the chair yet, but I think it kind of just looks like, you know, a little kid was helping mom or dad plant some plants up and just sort of left them, left them on the chair as they, as they moseyed on in for, for Sunday night dinner. I just could, I couldn't help the accent. It, it, it came upon me. I'll tell you one thing, I didn't really expect to use all of these plants. And I don't think we're going to use all of them. Anyways, I think these two, these two are not, they're not speaking to me. They are speaking to me, but they're telling me that they want to stay here in, in my, in my 24 seven care. Now I think I've got a plan for our snake plant, our mother-in-law's tongue over there. And I, uh, I think I also might just blow your mind when you see what I do with it. It was, uh, it was sitting right in front of us the whole time. Do you see where I'm going with this? It's perfect. The, the tones work together. The reds in the pot kind of works with the, with the peperomias pot, works with the tones of the wood. I just, uh, it, I'm happy with the shape that it's creating, that little cluster on the side. Those three plants on the side are just working perfectly together. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's, it's one of those things. These two plants right here, this is a uh, parsley something. Oh man, it's slipping my mind. Well, let me get the app out. Let me get the old app out. Having to embarrassingly do this on uh, camera. I was gonna say Ming Aurelia. I swear I was gonna say Ming Aurelia. Anyways, we've gotta organize our Ming Aurelia and our mother-in-law's tongue. I'm thinking about possibly filling in this space. And there's two things that I don't like about this mother-in-law's tongue being down here on this front bench. Number one, it looks a little bit too crowded. Number two, again, I'm not 100% sure that this bench is gonna be this close to this other bench. When I actually get into Tangles and, and start setting up the, the display in the actual store, we may end up finding that I have to sort of expand things out, find new areas, kind of, kind of pull this apart somewhere else. So although all of this is, you know, one plant display as a whole, it's also, it also needs to be a little bit, you know, dynamic where things can be separated and moved around a little bit. And, uh, and that's what we're going for. That was the, that was the long explanation of why that mother-in-law's tongue snake plant back there isn't gonna go back there. Cause it needs to be with its friends. It needs to be with its little group right here. I usually have those windows behind me open when I'm making videos because it lets a lot of nice uh, natural light in. But I didn't want to have, you know, white squares behind the, behind the whole display the whole time. And I'm really kind of digging how the windows just make the shot look so, uh, so squared up. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, uh, I, I'm kind of one of those types that I'm very, I, I, I like to think I'm a little left brain and a little right brain and a little right brain. I, I like to, I like to have things, you know, just so, and to have things, you know, nice and organized and scheduled, but I also like to get in there and just kind of, you know, mess it up every once in a while. So I'm thinking these two right there. This in like that. Should we put the Song of India in front of the rocking chair? We almost kind of need to have something over there to balance out that other side where I've got this big, you know, fluffy good luck plant. But remember, I don't want to actually put this in the rocking chair. So now I've kind of got my chair open. I do like the way that these, uh, these two smaller pots look uh, like this though. It's starting to look like a little bit more of, a, of, that, of that cluster of plant look that we're going for. I think we might have just designed a brand new plant display for Tangles in Waxhaw, North Carolina, my little hometown. The other thing that I think is going to be so cool, uh, selfishly, the other reason that I'm making these videos is because I just, I, I think it's going to be so neat though that, that day when someone tells me that 
that they watched my video and then they and then they saw my plants. So let me grab you. Let me give you a close look. Tell me what you think. Did we do good? Did we did we achieve that that overall organic kind of you know wiggly shape that we were going for? Like that. So now that we're actually finished with the display here, I'm gonna take a picture of this, of course, so I have a reference when I'm actually building this in the store. I'm a little bit nervous about actually filming in Tangles. I, I don't know Elizabeth, the owner, too well yet, so, you know, it's, it, it's kind of, again, that balance. You don't really wanna run into somebody's space, fill it up with all your plants, and then, you know, pop, their, pop your camera in their face as well. But I'm gonna make sure that I, that I at least get you, you know, some nice footage of the store to show you how the, the display actually came together in real life uh, but the, you know, the best way for you to actually experience what you're watching right now is to actually head down to Tangles. Just pop in there and, and check it out for yourself. It's also a really cool store. It's a really neat little, uh, little local gem that we have here in Waxhaw. I feel like I should do some sort of a cool transition, like a, like a blast to the future where the display is already all set up or something like that. Hold on, let me, uh, I mentioned that every time I time travel, a new, uh, a new gray hair sprouts on my head. But I think, I think in this case, I think for the, for the video, for you, I think it's going to be worth it. <sighs> All right, let's, let's, let's concentrate. Let's think about our plant display in its brand new environment. And, uh, you know, before you know it, we'll close our eyes and we'll... And here we are. We finally got it done. We've got the whole setup. We're here in Tangles. A little bit of changes. I had some suggestions. We were initially aiming for right in front of the window over there which is what most people would think when they come to plants, but I got some wonderful advice saying that it was a little too warm over there. I had actually initially been eyeing this spot in the first place. I, it had some stuff in there. We convinced uh, Elizabeth, the owner, to move it out of there. She let me put my plants in, and anyways, nonetheless, we've got our brand new plant spot, our brand new Tangles display, as I guess what you could call it. You'll notice some differences. Our good luck plant has shifted <laughs> from the other side. We've got our Rex begonia sitting there in the back. To be honest with you, everything's kind of shifted around a little bit. So these groups have stayed together. This group completely changed. <laughs> this one moved to the other side. And to be honest with you, these two guys back here, our Rex begonia and our watermelon peperomia here, they're just, uh, I don't know, they're the new best friends. They're living up here. All, the, all three reds have, have somehow gotten shoved together and I wouldn't be making a proper video if I didn't walk around Tangled a little bit. Check this store out, how cool is this place? I mean, have you ever even heard of, you know, Knitter's Pride? To be honest with you, I don't even know what this is, but how cool is that? Let's take a little browse. I was just talking with the owner about just how important this kind of thing is. You know, I've heard about knitting all my life. My grandma's knitted, of course, as most people's grandmas have knitted. But where does it, where, where does that end? You know, if, if, if places like this don't exist, it's, it simply dies with the previous generation. And that's the beautiful thing about these local stores is that they're, they're creating, they're, they're continuing not only traditions, but, but evolving the traditions into something brand new and bringing it into, into the new, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. But check this store out. How cool is it? I've never actually walked to the back myself. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be back here. But I wanted to give you just a little peek at Tangles. And who knows, maybe I'll see you a little bit more in the future. I'm going to be in here maintaining our, uh, our brand new plant display back there. Did I do a good enough job of showcasing? There we go. Right beside the... Uh, I don't know. Just look at this cool stuff, man. To, to be completely honest with you, the thing I'm most excited about with this plant display, and not only watching them grow and all the, you know, blah, blah, blah stuff that I'm always saying about how great plants are, but I'm just excited to come in here and, you know, just see, see the influence that these things have on, on a place like this. So if you live near me in Waxhaw, North Carolina, and you want to come check out Tangles, well, you can see some of my live plants. And not only that, you can support a pretty awesome store. And that was it. We're just outside, right in front of Tangles on Main. Brand new plant display. Again, I know I said this before, but if you're ever in Waxhaw, if you're in North Carolina, if you live near Waxhaw, 
And if you live near me, come check out, am I getting a sign in there? Come check out Tango so you can see all my new plants. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I hope you liked the video. Check out this last really cool knitted wall. The thing that attracted me to Tangles in the first place. The, the, the reason that I went in there and bothered Elizabeth, the owner, and, and practically begged her to, to let me put plants in her store is this right here. Just an awesome, I don't know, it's a, it's a cool knitted wall. And I just think that it's things like that that make our town, Waxhaw, freaking awesome. And of course I couldn't end this video without mentioning Pure CBD. Pure CBD is, is super special to my heart. This store back here, I'm not, I'm not even gonna show you any video right now because I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save going into this store for something super special. But Pure CBD back here, they're the ones that gave me the chance. They're the ones, when I, when I formulated this whole idea about, you know, throwing plants into, into local businesses in downtown Waxhaw, Pure CBD back there, they were the ones that said, yeah, you, you, can, you, can, you can try it out on us. I'm gonna be a little bit, a little bit sad of the plants that were, <laughs> that were lost to, uh, to Tangles on Maine there. I'm, I'm already a little bit concerned about the ones, specifically the ones that need high humidity. That's the ones that I'm really worried about. I'm a, I'm a little concerned about my new little babies, but you know what? They're in a brand new world. And um, yeah, I just, I can't wait to see what happened. It's all one big experiment. I'll see you on the next one. I hope you enjoyed the video.